Hi, I'm Daniel from LIGO.co.uk and this is the VQ Dexter Portable Dab Radio. VQ are a relatively new face to the UK's audio market, only starting to get going in the last 10 years or so, but since then they've quickly caught up with much more established brands like Roberts, partly due to their flair for retro-inspired designs like this one, and partly because of their reputation for providing excellent value for money with their radios. But does the Dexter live up to that reputation? Let's take a closer look. As you can see, the VQ Dexter is on the smaller side of things as far as DAB radios go. I'd say it's about the same size as the average outdoor Bluetooth speaker. That's because this really is intended for portable use, and it's a good size for that. Big enough that it can still fit in all the necessary audio components to sound good, but small enough that you could easily carry it about the house with you, out to the garden, down to the allotment, and you're not going to have your hands full. There's two versions of the VQ Dexter available. I've got the oak version, which as you can see, it's got a white front panel on it. There's also a walnut version that's got a black front panel as well. For such a relatively inexpensive radio, it does feel and look pretty solid with this wood effect around the outside. It's only wood effect unlike the VQ Monty and some of Pure's radios that have real wood. But thanks to this sort of graining effect they've applied to it, it does look like the real thing unless you go right up close to it or, or pick it up. And when you do pick it up, there's a decent bit of weight to it for such a small radio as well, so it does feel nice and solid. On the front here, you've got the display screen. As you can see, that's a two-line display, unlike a lot of smaller DAB radios, which only have a one-line display, which means you get the station name and now playing information on there as well. It's not a particularly large screen, but it is nice and bright, so it's still easy to see if you're using it outdoors. Underneath that, you've got all the controls, not an enormous amount to talk about here, all the buttons here, pretty self-explanatory as to what they do, and the volume wheel here as well. So the DEX is very easy to use. On the back here, you've got a telescopic antenna. Unlike a lot of other portable radios that tend to make do with just the kind of wire antenna that you get with clock radios, that means the Dexter is really good when it comes to signal. I've tested quite a few other portable DAB radios here in our basement office, and some of them have struggled a bit with getting signal, whereas everything on the Dexter was nice and clear, all stations come through clearly. When you first turn it on, it'll automatically scan for all available stations, so really easy to use. And the antenna feels nice and sturdy as well, which is just what you want from a portable radio. Don't want one that feels a bit flimsy and could easily get bent. It's not the case here. As for sound quality, the VQ Dexter has been hand-tuned by VQ's audio experts, and for such a small radio, I think this is a really excellent sounding system. Obviously, with smaller DAB radios, there does tend to be a bit of compromise on sound quality because there's not enough room to fit in lots of uh, audio components, like a, a separate woofer, for example. But this is a really great example of how to shrink down the size of a radio without making much of a compromise on sound quality. Dispersion and separation both really good, so music sounds nice and, and clear. And while it's not incredibly loud, and there is a little bit of audible distortion that starts to creep in if you turn it all the way up, below that, this is an excellent sounding radio. In fact, pound for pound, I'd say it's probably one of the best that I've tested. Now at this point in radio reviews, I normally run through all the additional features of the radio. There's not that many to talk about really with the Dexter. It's a pretty no frills radio, but that is reflected in the price. There's no Bluetooth mode, which a lot of DAB radios nowadays tend to have, and there's no alarm mode, but that's pretty standard for portable radios. That's so if you've got it running on battery power, it's not gonna run out on you in the middle of the night and you sleep through your alarm. What it does have is DAB and FM compatibility, as well as DAB Plus compatibility. So you've got access to all locally available stations. There's also a preset button on the front here, which lets you save up to 30 separate stations in uh, a menu. I personally probably would have cut out some of the buttons on the front, the, the scan previously and next, and instead had one touch pre, uh, preset buttons, but there you go. There's also a headphone jack on the back, so you can listen to this with headphones if you like, and a sleep timer mode as well. So if you like to drift off to the sound of the radio, you can set the Dexter to shut itself off automatically after a fixed period of time. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, the Dexter is really intended for use as a portable DAB radio. If I take the back panel off here, you can see it takes four AA batteries. Obviously, the exact listening time that you get with the Dexter will depend on the brand of batteries you're using and how loud you have the radio. But in our testing, we found it got about 10 hours listening time, which is good for a radio of this size. As I always say, it's probably better to get rechargeable batteries if you're gonna be using a portable radio that takes batteries, saves you having to spend a fortune on disposable batteries in the long run. Unfortunately, it won't recharge them while the radio is plugged in, but the mains cable is just a standard micro USB. 
and so when you're recharging the batteries or if you just want to use it as a, a mains power back, a radio you can do that just just plug it in so there we have it the bq dexter while it's not got all the bells and whistles of some more expensive portable dab radios for what it is it's really good value for money with a nice design and excellent sound quality if you've got any questions or comments leave a comment below and to find out more and get your hands on one for yourself go to ligo.co.uk